And I am Alice Mountjoy, Government Relations Coordinator for the Virginia Center for Public Safety. I reside in Suffolk and have attended several gun shows. Gun shows have not always been uh, regulated in, in Virginia. Prior to 1993, gun shows existed as informal bazaars to swap, sell, or barter guns and related paraphernalia. That year, Delegate Bob Tata patron legislation that required the promoter of any firearm show to provide the state and local police with 30 days notice of each show to maintain a list of vendors and exhibitors. And after the show, the promoter was required to transmit a completed vendor list to the state police. Gun show regulation was supported by all current crime commission members who served in the legislature in 1993, including our um, Attorney General Bob McDonnell, Senator Marsh, Senator Stolle, uh, um, Senator Howell, uh, Delegate Melvin, and former Delegate Glenn Croshaw. We thank you for that support. The remaining current members of the Crime Commission were not a part of the legislature in 1993 for that vote. Later, Delegate Bob Tata stated to the Virginian pilot that his bill was an important first step in controlling the illegal sale and purchase of weapons, but more regulation over private sales would be in the best interest of public safety. That is what he said in 1993. The Crime Commission since then has been asked to study gun shows. In 2003, the history of Senate Bill 698 indicates that a letter was sent to the Crime Commission to uh, study this issue. This bill would have required background checks on guns sold at gun shows. However, as the chairman of the Cr Crime Commission in 2003, Senator Stolle indicated that the letter was not received by the Crime Commission, and so this topic was not addressed. Legislation to require background checks for gun purchasers has been introduced every year for the last five years. It was supported in the Virginia Tech Review Panel recommendation, and as you have heard, it is a priority for many of the victims and families of, from Virginia Tech. It was supported in early 2008 by Christopher Newport University polling data from all areas of Virginia, regardless of political party. And this past week, in the report of the Mayors Against Illegal Guns, data shows that for states such as Virginia, without background check requirements at gun shows, have about twice the export rate of illegal guns as other states. Gun shows are open to the public. They, this commercial venue includes an, um, an admission fee the buyer and seller do not know each other. And we all know that felons, juveniles, and illegal aliens do not wear signs of their status. The best way to know the status of a gun buyer is to require a background check for each purchase. Please, I urge you to take a look and make a recommendation to change public policy to ensure that public safety is prioritized over the inconvenience of a few vocal gun rights supporters.